You are watching Climate Samurai. And this is Solar Headlines. 100 megawatts floating solar plant to be commissioned by NTPC in May. India's largest floating solar power plant of 100 megawatts capacities to be commissioned by National Thermal Power Corporation by May this year at Ramagundam, NTPC Southern Region Executive Director C. V. Anand said. The floating solar project would be spread over 450 acres on the water surface of Sri Ram Sagar Project Reservoir. This will be the largest floating solar plant in the country in a single location as of now. The total cost of the project would be 423 Indian rupees crore. Nautilus Solar Energy acquires 47 megawatts community solar portfolio in Maine from ISM Solar. Nautilus Solar Energy has announced the acquisition of eight community solar projects in Maine totaling 47.2 MWDC from ISM Solar Development. The projects, located in Cumberland, Knox, Oxford and York counties are expected to start construction in Q3 2021. Once completed, these projects will provide a clean energy option to almost 10,000 households within the Central Main Power CMP, Electric Utility Territory. Trina Solar launches 670W Vertex modules with efficiency up to 21.6%. Trina Solar has unveiled a new generation of ultra-high-power Vertex module with a single-panel power of 670W at PV Module Tech Virtual Conference. According to the company the series has obtained the IEC certification from the TV Rhineland after passing complete reliability tests and realized the mass production. Kamuthi Solar Power Plant of Adani Green Energy becomes water positive. Adani Green Energy Limited has announced that its Kamuthi solar power plant in Tamil Nadu has become water positive. A power plant becomes water positive when it harvests and recycles more water than what it consumes, Adani Green Energy Limited said in a statement explaining the terminology water positive. The 648 megawatts Kamuthi solar plant, a flagship asset of AGEL, has become the first plant of its class to turn water positive. MNRE imposes BCD on imported solar cells and modules to take effect from April. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, has imposed Basic Customs Duty BCD, on imported solar cells and modules which will come into effect starting April 1, 2022. The Ministry has imposed 40% BCD on solar modules and 25% on solar cells. BCD would have a positive impact on domestic equipment manufacturers, says ICRA. Ratings agency ICRA said that basic customs duty BCD, of 25% and 40% on imported solar cells and modules, respectively, may increase the solar tariffs, however, it added that this step would have a positive impact on domestic equipment manufacturers though the extent of benefit would depend upon the imported PV module prices, especially from China. Goa Institute of Management Taps Solar Power In a bid to deal with the rising power bill the Goa Institute of Management has decided to tap solar power, the institute is looking at installing rooftop solar to meet at least 30% of its power needs. Ajit Parulekar, director of the institute said work on installing the panels has already started and the project will be completed in a month's time. Concerted global action needed for achieving affordable, clean energy for all said India at UN. The Power Minister R.K. Singh speaking at the virtual launch of the UN High-Level Dialogue on Energy said the sustainable development goal of achieving affordable and clean energy for all will require concerted global action, strong political commitment, as well as innovative ways of expanding energy access and promoting renewable energy. MNRE releases list of solar modules and manufacturers eligible for its projects. In a bid to boost domestic solar manufacturing industry, the government has issued an all-Indian list of modules and manufacturers to be used for its projects. This approved list released by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, included 23 manufacturers and their vetted modules who will be eligible for use in government and government-assisted projects, schemes, and programs for projects bid out on or after April 10, 2021. 
Jharkhand government to put solar panels at 7,776 homes spread across 137 villages of the state. The state government has decided that under Sabagya Yojana, a sum of 28.18 rupees crore would be spent for putting up solar panels at 7,776 homes spread across 137 villages of the state to provide them with electricity. That's all for this week. Have a great day. Visit www.climatesamurai.com for all the updates. Please like, share and subscribe.